Modelist Dropshipping on Wix. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Modelist and how you can use that application to dropship products with your Wix account. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what I want you guys to do is come over to Wix.com. Now, once you're over here, all you have to do is just simply sign up. So to sign up, all you have to do is click on the get started button over here in the middle. And once you do that, all you have to do over here is basically enter in your email address or your password, or you can continue with Google. Now, I recommend continuing with Google because it saves quite a lot of time and it's easier. And you can sign up onto any website with just a single click of a button. So having said that, I'm going to go ahead and sign up and I'll catch you guys in the next step. So once you've signed up, this is going to be your dashboard in front of you. Now, as you can see, I've already created a few different sites over here, but I'm going to go ahead and create another one to show you guys how easy it is. So to create your own site, all you have to do is come over here and click on create a new site. Simply click on it. And over here, all you have to do is search for your business or website type. So whatever type of website you want, you can have it over here. If it's an online store, a portfolio, a blog, a consultant or technology company. So let's go with online store and click on next. So over here, they're telling us online clothing store or stuff like that. You will have two options in front of you. You can either let the Wix ADI create a website for you, or you can create your own website with the editor. So the Wix ADI is pretty good. It makes good websites, but it's not that good. And what I mean by that is when the ADI creates a website for you, it's very simple. It's very bland. It's good it's fast it has no technical issues or whatsoever it's just that the customization and the look and feel of the website is just not that good so what i would recommend is you creating your own website and you can create your own website by clicking on the edit a template the second option so go ahead and click on edit a template now as you can see once we click on it we can see that we have quite a lot of websites over here so as you can see we have quite a lot of different types of templates of all the niches and types so we have a bakery we have adventure we have life we have clothing for kids some text some some makeup some bags some plant websites and many many more like it's pretty amazing the number of templates that wick has is unmatched by far so go ahead and choose a template so let me just go ahead and choose this one as over here so to choose this template all you have to do is hover your mouse over it and click on edit but before I click on that, let me just go ahead and view this website in a new tab. So over here, this is the website, as you can see, let me just go ahead and click on full view so that I can see the full view of this website. So this is the website over here. As you can see, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent, nice colors. It's really dark and it looks really professional and quite elegant at the same time. So I think we should choose this website. So let's just go ahead and edit this website. Now wait a couple of seconds for the Wix editor to load up. It takes some time to load all the settings and tools. So let's just wait a quick seconds for before we move on with the next step. So as you can see, once the editor is loaded up, this is how it looks like. And it's pretty simple. It's really unique. You have your tools over here on the left side. And over here you can add more pages you can add menus and stuff like that you have a theme manager you have a background manager you have apps you have media you have start blogging you have my store and then you have ascend business tools as well and then you have your main tools over here at the top so you have your zoom out and reorder you have your other tools so you have your toolbar layers you have rulers, guidelines, and other tools as well. And then you have search the editor to find a specific tool or element that you want. Now, to basically edit this website, all you have to do is hover your mouse over each section. So if you want to change the top strip over here, just simply come over here and click on it, and you can manage the whole column. You can stretch it out. You can shrink it. And if you want to change the text of this one over here, just simply click it and click on edit text. And over here, you can change the text of it. You can basically type whatever you want. You can change the type of text it is. You can change the headings, the themes. You can change the font. You can change the size. You can add in different effects as well. So let me just go ahead and add an effect over here. As you can see, let me just do that as well. So that is how you can use your change some effects over it. You can add a different logo so, uh, over here. You can change the vector art over here. Now, what if you wanted to change the background of this? Just simply come over here, click on an empty space and click on change stripe background. So right now it's this one over here and we can manage the setting of it as well. We can style our image of the background the way we want. 
so as you can see where it is positioned it's positioned in the middle at the bottom and stuff like that and we can scale to fit or original size or you know tile whatever we want we're gonna go with the original size over here and then once that's done we can just move out we can change the images as well by clicking on the image button over here once we click on it the wix library will open up and over here we can find other images that we could choose as a background but i think that the one that we already have is pretty good but i'm just showing you how it's done so that you guys can understand so just basically search for any type of image you want for business fashion fitness or whatever this is the media for Wix, and then you have Shutterstock as well. If you want to have some images from Shutterstock, you can go ahead and download them from there. And then you have Unsplash as well. Over here, you can also find some other images as well. And then you have site files as well. Over here, you basically have to add your own files. So to add your own file, just simply click on upload media and you'll be able to add your own media over here. And then you can use your own media as a background or a video or however you want it. It's pretty simple. It's really easy. As I told you before, you can add in more text over here. So if I click on this add plus button over here, as you can see, we have text, we have images, we have buttons, we have galleries, decoratives, interactives, box, list, content manager, blog, store, events, my designer. We have quite a lot of options. And whenever we move our mouse over a certain option, we get even more options on over here, as you can see. So if we come over here on themed buttons, our buttons will most likely match our theme of our website. If you want icon buttons we'll get icons if you want image buttons we'll get images if you want document buttons we'll get the documents and many many more so as you can see and then down below we have paypal buttons as well if you wanted to add some paypal buttons you can add them as well so it's pretty simple it's really unique now as i said before once you have edited your website you're going to need to add different types of applications on it and if you're planning on doing drop shipping you're going to need the number one drop shipping app in my opinion which is called modelist so to add that app hover your mouse over over here on the left side and click on add apps so once you click on it wix app market will open up and once you're over here all you have to do is just search for that specific application so over here, as you can see, these are quite a lot of applications over here. So we have Wix business solutions as well. So you we have Wix stores, Wix bookings, events, and many, many more. We had theme picks over here. And then down below, we have made by Wix. We have social apps and many, many more. Now we're doing a video on Modelist. So let me just go and search for Modelist. So as you can see, the Modelist dropshipping app is over here. And this is the number one dropshipping app. So just simply click on it and select it and once you've selected it all you have to do is just simply install the applications so to install the application all you have to do is just simply click on add to site and once you click on it all you have to do is just simply click on add to site and once you do that after a couple of minutes the application will be installed onto your website but before we do move on we have to connect our store with modelist so go ahead and create an account on modelist and then you can go ahead and link your wix account to modelist so over here it's telling us to uninstall our account maybe it's connected so let's go ahead and see if the application is connected with our website go ahead and click on the app market and click on manage apps at the bottom as you can see, Modelist is over here, so it has been connected to our account. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and find some products. So over here on the left side, we have quite a lot of options, but the main option is find product over here. So once we click on it, as you can see, we have all these products in front of us. We can go ahead and continue to import all of these products onto our Wix store, or we can add more products from Alibaba, or we can add more products from AliExpress. So let's just assume that this is the product that we want let's just simply hover our mouse over it and click on add to import list so once we click on add to import list this product is going to be imported over onto our list and when we click on import list over here on the left side we can view this product with more details so as you can see this is the product right here this is the name we can add it to our collection as we want so let's just select this option over here and just simply click on add to wix so as you can see, there are no more products, which means that the product has just been added over to our Wix website. 
and we can add as many products as we want we can go over to find products list over here and we can add as many product as we want and then we can begin with our drop shipping business and also you don't have to worry about anything because modelist is going to take care of everything they are going to be the ones providing you with the product they are going to be the ones providing you the customers and they'll drop ship the application they'll handle all the shipping and stuff like that you'll just have to sit back relax and enjoy the profits so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye